Good morning and welcome to lesson six, where we're going to learn about vortices, which is just plural for vortex. So what is a vortex and how does it relate to hurricanes and tornadoes? You can see a vortex must cause some kind of damage. The powerful winds of Hurricane Andrew drove this piece of plywood through the trunk of a royal palm tree. Holy moly. Introduction. Hurricanes and other rotating storms are strong forces of nature. Both hurricanes and tornadoes have winds powerful enough to lift objects and turn them into dangerous high-speed missiles, as shown in figure 6.1. In this and later lessons, you will study the origins and behavior of these catastrophic storms, as well as their effects on the areas they strike and the people who live there. In the investigation in this lesson, you will study something fundamental to both hurricanes and tornadoes, the formation and behavior of vortices, those tight spinning tornado-like forms. You will have two bottles, one empty and one filled with water. To model how air moves in hurricanes and tornadoes and other rotating storms, you'll discuss how the water in your bottle is like the air in a rotating storm as you model circulation in a storm. You'll also take a step back and read about thunderstorms and their powerful updrafts. So in the getting started, in the previous lesson you learned about ocean currents. Holy moly, stay on one page here, friends. Number two, examine figures 6.2 and 6.3, then try to answer the following questions. Let's just discuss this and see how we do. 6.2 looks like a zoomed out picture of the globe or the earth really. And I think what we're looking at in 6.3 is gonna be way over here. Or I guess it could be up here. It's hard, difficult to tell. This clearly looks zoomed in and this is the Baja of California. So it was that first one we mentioned in the picture above. This is the zoomed in image. So how are they alike? Well, they're of the same thing, but one's closer than the other. How are they different? We just said that. What patterns did you notice in the shapes of the clouds? Well, it looks like, gosh, which way do they go? I think they go clockwise here. And let's see if it looks clockwise up here. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, so what you're going to do is read on the next page the Building Your Knowledge Hurricane Formation. You don't have to do number four, but I did want to talk about it. Look at the pictures of the hurricanes on page 86. Can you identify the eye and what direction is it spinning? Well, that looks like an eye. Oh, I, does this one have two eyes? Is this the eye or does it also have two? And I'm guessing that's the eye. Let's see, this one looks clockwise. This one looks clockwise. I can't tell this one. This one definitely looks clockwise. All right, so now you're going to go read about hurricane formation. <laughs> 